The year is 2001. Harry Redknapp, after a glorious last few years in charge, has either been thrown out or has walked out of the club after a disagreement with the chairman, Terry Brown. So, who better to take over than another lifelong West Ham fan as I'm going to be replacing Redknapp in episode 1 of Chasing the Fortune. Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, TaylorMade Gaming. And of course, I am doing a retro save. I do one every year on whatever database the mad scientist cooks up in his crazy, crazy lab. This year, it is the 2001 2002 database. And as anyone who knows anything about English football around this time will know, West Ham were a club on the up. West Ham were a club that was going to do great things. Until we started selling all our best players right around this time. We have still got a few of the good players. I'll show you the squad in a second but in real life like I said in the intro Harry Redknapp had left the club at the end of the 2000-2001 season and he was replaced by Glenn Rhoda and I believe we finished seventh in the league this season but then the season after we got relegated with one of the best teams even to this day to get relegated an absolute travesty. So I think we're going to have this save go on at least two seasons. See if we can do better than seventh this year. And then obviously better than relegation in the 0203 season. So those are the targets for this series. And well, we haven't got it easy to start with, have we? First game... Man United, and this is not modern day rubbish, not very good Man United. This is proper old school dominant Man United. This is right around the time where they were undoubtedly the best team in the land. And so we're going to have a look at their squad first and then we'll have a look at ours just to keep you watching just in case you want to see the West Ham players. And so, you can see the old school badge, the old school logo, modern day kits, but we're going to forget about that. Hopefully, there's a kit pack coming. And, oh, by the way, guys, I'll put the link to Mad Scientist's database and the save game file in the description down below, so you can check, it, you can check this save out for yourselves. And so... If we have a look at this squad, just world-class players everywhere. As my phone has gone off. Sorry about that, guys. All right, then. Sorry, guys. Rookie mistake, that. But we are back. And so, yeah, let's have a look at all these players. Who should we have a look at first? Andy Cole. I was a big, big fan of Andy Cole back in the day. His partnership with Dwight York. Oh, just phenomenal stuff. And I think it was a couple of years ago now, I saw a video on social media of him and Dwight York, and they've still got that telepathic connection that they had back in the day. It was just phenomenal. And so, having a look at his attributes, he's got 17 finishing, 14 technique, 18 work, work rate, 20 off the ball, and just, ah, oh, just so, so good. One Sebastian Veron. He is 26 years old here, five-star current and potential ability. And just look at all that green. There is more green there than a drug dealer's factory. Wowzers. Just phenomenal stuff. And of course, the current England captain, pretty sure he was captain at this time, David Beckham, 
free kick of 20. Little bit low if you ask me. I know they are all only between 1 and 20, but the way his free kicks were, they should be about 23, 24. He was that good at them. Crossing of 20 as well, passing 20, just just a phenomenal footballer. I'd play him in the middle if I was if I was manager. I know that's controversial because he was a right winger, but he's not got the acceleration that you would like. Whereas passing, tackling, or maybe not, maybe maybe having him on the wing was the right decision. Who am I to argue with Sir Alex Ferguson of all people? And then as well, Ryan Giggs, just ah. Oh, Again, acceleration all over the place. Dribbling, first touch, flair. Ryan Giggs scored one of my favourite goals of all time. That goal against uh, Arsenal in the semi-final at Villa Park where he ran down the side of the pitch. Oh, phenomenal stuff. Ruud van Nistelrooy, and then we'll get on to our squad. Ruud van Nistelrooy, finishing of 16. 15 decisions, 19 determination, 17 penalty taking, 17 technique. He's 25 here. I think this is a little bit low for him. I think he was better than that. I think first touch, did you see some of his goals? His first touch was better than 13. But these are all the attributes the players had on the championship manager game at the time. So, yeah. So, if you want to blame anyone, blame um, SI. So, do send all your 20-year-old complaints into Miles Jacobson. I'm sure the fella will love that. And so, our squad. And we'll go through our tactics as well. And so, let's do this by... Let's do this by ability. And of course, of course, of course, of course, Paolo Di Canio... Paolo Di Canio, one of my favourite players of all time. Can I get that off the wall? No, I can't. But can you see it up there? You can just about see it. I have got a custom Di Canio art piece from one of my good mates in the community celebrating that goal he scored against Wimbledon. Ah, oh, and just what a player, what a player. I don't think I ever made it to Upton Park while he was actually playing. But I was at Mark Noble's testimonial when we left Upton Park. And to see the Canio just once at Upton Park was blooming beautiful. And he scored and then ran over to the corner of the pitch where I was. And oh, just lovely stuff. And then... Another one, another player, another flair player, another player who should have gone on to so many better things. I know he went to Chelsea. I know he won the league. I know that he did this and that. But I think Mourinho ruined him. I honestly do. Because have a look at this. Acceleration 16, agility 18, dribbling 17, Passing 14, technique 18. All of this at 19 years of age. He should have been running past people for years and years and years. But that is not what Mourinho wanted for him. And so that is what I'm going to try and get him doing. As well as that, Freddie Canuti. That is a real name from the past. 17 finishing. 15 agility, 14 stamina. You can see it all there. Uh, let's have a look at one more and then we will get into today's game against Manchester United. Uh, who else shall we have a look at? Carrick. Let's have a look and see what Carrick's stats are. Again, another one who did actually go on to good things. I really liked what he did at Man U. I was gutted when he left us for Tottenham. But when he went to Man U, he made that team tick. And so he's got 15 first touch, 18 passing, 15 technique, 16 off the ball, 16 composer. He is going to be a big, big part of this team. 
And as well, guys, just want to note just before we do go into the game that um, I've disabled the first window transfers just so we can have a look at the real teams at least until January. So there's going to be no transfers, no anything like that until January comes around. And then we'll see how much money we get, see if we're in a mess, see what we need to do to replace it. Here is the team for today's game. We've got David James in goal. Minto and Repka are our fullbacks. Daly and Pierce are our centre backs. And then in the middle of the pitch, we've got Lomas as a central midfielder on defend. Monker as a defensive ball winning midfielder. Don Hutchinson as an advanced playmaker on support, actually, is what I want. And then up front, we've got Joe Cole on the left, Sinclair on the right, both as inside forwards. And then up front, we've got Canuti as a pressing forward. Di Canio and Carrick both miss out because they're carrying knocks, but they should be back, hopefully, very, very soon. So let's get into the Old Trafford dressing room. Okay, so we're in the dressing room. We have just told everyone, just good luck, we're going to need it. But also, I've got faith in them. I know what they can do. And so, Luminal, we could not have had a harder game to start this season. I'm going to go for an optimistic 1-1 draw. Come on, West Ham. 15 minutes into the game, it's Ryan Giggs with an outswinging corner. Moncur heads it away. I think it's going to be Scolzi to get on to the ball first. Scholes into Roy Keane. Scholes has passed it, but Canute has intercepted it. That's a bad Paul Scholes pass. That is an absolute rarity as Canute has missed a golden opportunity for us to take an unlikely lead. And now Hutchinson with a low corner, but Sinclair loses the ball. Repka, is he going to get onto it first? No, he's not. 23 minutes in, Hutchinson with the corner. Joe Cole misses out on the header, but Lomas has it on the edge of the box. Goes back towards Hutchinson. Hutchinson to Daly, over the top. Canute nods it down and well. Far too easy for Barthez to get onto that. But I think this highlight's carrying on. Super long highlight as now Sinclair into Repka, into John Moncur. Sinclair, we are playing some beautiful football here. John Moncur, back to Thomas Repka. Into John Moncur again. We are just keeping it nice and salt. And well, it is like a great man once said, if you have the ball, what can the other team not do? Score a goal. So that is what we're trying to do. There's now Sinclair into Canute. Canute, can he square it? Joe Cole with the header. Yes! Joe Cole of all people. The player who was who was wanted by United at 14, 13 years of age has given West Ham the lead and silenced Old Trafford. Canute with the cross. Joe Cole with a header. How many headers did Joe Cole ever score in his career? The boy is tiny. And now, uh-oh. Highlight immediately after. Is this showing the whole game? No, it's not. Okay. So, highlight immediately after. I'm sure anyone who remembers Man U around this time knows that maybe one of the worst things you could do against them is to score early on in a game. It only seemed to annoy them and piss them off. There you go. Paul Scholes with an equaliser immediately after. That was nice for about the 40 seconds it lasted. As that was some very, very nice play from United. Just working the space. And Van Nisselrooy with the cross, or with the header even, nodged it down for Paul Scholes and well... The ginger nut is never going to miss that, is he? Oh, no. Half an hour gone. Giggs with a corner ball. Pierce heads it away. And Sinclair is going to get onto this. Can we get the ball forward? 
Can we get this into Canute's path? We do. Oh, foul. Referee. It's a goal. Oh, I thought Joe Cole had scored. We should have had a free kick at least in the build-up there. 37 minutes gone. Hutchinson with a corner ball. Lomas. Lomas with the header. Barthez has dropped it into his own net. Stevie Lomas again gives us a lead at the Champions of England. Oh my gosh. Look at this. There was Barthez had it. He had it in his hands. He had the whole ball in his hands. But he dropped it into the net. As oh, Man United have almost immediately equalised yet again. But we do survive. Oh, come on, boys. Let's just see this lead through to half time. As now Minto has the ball. What's he going to do with it? He goes long. Joe Cole gets it. Nice control. Canute Hutchinson. Can he find Sinclair? He does. What a pass. Sinclair is into the box. He goes for the shot. He's hit the bar. And it goes out. We are having way more chances than I thought we would. As now we go again. Pierce into Repka. Into John Monker. Sinclair goes past his man there with relative ease. Sinclair. What's he going to do with it? Goes back to Don Hutchinson. Hutchinson with it. Oh, he's giving it away to Giggs. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Giggs has run in behind our defence. And, oh, it's in the back of the net. 2-2. Two, two. Four goals in the first half. Jesus Christ. Oh, this is a mad game of football. It was all coming from Don Hutchinson's error. As soon as he gave the ball to Giggs, he was away. And that was a nicely cool, calm, chipped finish. As my hair is going mental with the stress of this game. <sighs> breathe. Breathe, people. Half time. 16 shots. Two are seven for Man United. Six on target. Two are four. An XG of almost two. To our 0.62. How we're level in this game. Judging by those stats. I don't know. But let's go into the dressing room. I'm going to go pump fists. I'm going to go. Actually no. I'm going to go hands on hips. I'm going to go. You've been unlucky. That's got a few people motivated. We shall go along with that. And so. Oh. Well, my first prediction was wrong. What are we going to say now? Free to us. Go on, let's be optimistic. Come on, West Ham. First highlight of the second half. Mikel Silvestra, that's a name from the past. He clears the ball away. And Ronnie Johnson, I think that is. Roy Keane goes out to Mikel Silvestra. Ryan Giggs is in behind and he's hit the post and in. I think... I think our defensive line might be a little too high, boys and girls. Oh, no. Oh, that, that is disappointing. I know I said 3-2, but I meant it the other way around, boys. As Ryan Giggs now has two on the day. Oh, my God. United have come out here angry as anything, haven't they? As, oh, have we given away a penalty? Christian Daly has given away a penalty after pushing Roy Keane to the ground. Something I'm sure a lot of footballers would have wanted to do back in the day. And, well, VAR, 20 years early, has given away the, has given a penalty. And I suppose this is going to be Nisselroy, isn't it? No, Lauren Blanc. Ah, oh, two goals conceded in the first five minutes of the second half. Sums up being a West Ham fan, this. You get a little bit of hope and then it disappears. Just over half an hour left. Johnson with the ball. Goes into Roy Keane. Back to his man, Johnson. Wide to Ryan Giggs. Ryan Giggs is in way too much space there. He's going to run at us again. 
Is he on for a hat trick? He's into the box. And oh, David James with the save. This could be anything right now. Okay, we're making a couple of subs. Defoe is coming on for Freddie Canuti. And TT Camara is coming on for Joe Cole on the left. Just because Joe Cole is absolutely knackered. And so, our defensive line is not that high. No idea how United keep on getting in behind us then. But we're going to go with this and see how it goes. Well, it wouldn't be a game at Old Trafford without a David Beckham free kick. He's crossed it in and ooh, it's shot there from Keane. It's saved by David James. And now it's Giggs with another corner. He crosses it in. This away with the header and oh, it's in again. 5-2. This has been a nightmare since half-time. United showing why they are champions. Why they were so feared around this time. I think that counts as an own goal. I would have given that as an own goal myself. Ten minutes left. United coming forward again. Salsa to Wes Brown. Wes Brown plays it, but Sinclair intercepts. Defoe. Can Defoe get this to a teammate? He needs to turn, but oh no, a tackle is giving it to Sinclair. Sinclair coming forward. Play this into the box, my man. Play this into the box. Penalty! Ref! Typical old school, a big team United bias there. If that had been in our box, that would have been a penalty. And now Giggs recreating that goal against Arsenal. He's into the box. He's gone for the shot. And thankfully, David James clears that up. And well, that is the full-time whistle. We have lost the game. Five goals to two. I've certainly brought you enough goals today. 30 shots to our 13. 18 on target to our seven. An XG of 4.45. Wowzers, that's got to be one of the biggest I've ever seen. If you've seen any bigger, XG, not anything else, take your mind out the gutter. If you've seen any bigger XG, put it down below in the comments. I would love to know about it. And yeah, 58% possession. They just dominated us in that second half. We had absolutely no answer. So we're going to go, that was unlucky, boys. And then we shall see where we will come back in the next episode. I'm thinking maybe 10 games time. Let's see, who have we got in 10 games? So 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, do we want Middlesbrough or do we want Leeds? No, we're going to go Leeds. We're going to go Leeds. Go and see Ferdinand at his new team. I believe it's about now Ferdinand is at Leeds. Yeah, it is. Yep, so we'll go see Rio Ferdinand after he's just left us for Leeds United. And so, guys, if you've enjoyed that video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 21 content, TEW content, Bus Simulator 18 content, and a whole lot of other stuff that I've got planned for the channel thank you so so much for watching follow me on twitter at taylor m gaming yep thank you so much for watching i shall see you next time bye